Hey folks, this is Doc Rich Babin Thomas from Prostate Cancer Live. And I want to talk a little bit about a recent paper that talked about a particular challenge that we see with patients who have actually had surgery for prostate cancer. And most patients actually have had what we describe as a robotic prostatectomy. And on that robotic prostatectomy, we actually look at specific aspects of that pathology to figure out where that cancer is located, i.e., did the cancer get outside of the capsule of the prostate? Do we have what's called a positive margin? Are they invading in the seminal vesicle? So there are a number of different things that we're looking at. In this particular paper, we're looking at what's called a positive surgical margin. So we're going to have a link to where I'm actually explaining all the details of your final pathology report, and I recommend that every patient actually have and get a copy of their final pathology report when they walk out of the doctor's office after they've had surgery. This particular patient, and I'm going to read off the name to you, and we're going to create the link for this. It's called the use of early postoperative prostate-specific antigen to stratify risk in patients with positive surgical margins after radical prostatectomy. Okay, that's a mouthful. Let's break this down. What does this mean? So the prostate is like a golf ball. It can be bigger than a golf ball or it can be smaller than a golf ball, but we look at all of the aspects of that golf ball when we take it out, especially when we're actually trying to spare those nerves responsible for the erections. What happens is, is that that cancer can come right up against the edge. And if it comes right up against the edge, that's what we call a margin, which makes sense. A margin is obviously right up against the margin of whatever that's going to be. And in particular in prostate cancer, it's called a positive surgical margin, what we describe as PSM, okay, that positive surgical margin. When that cancer gets up to that surgical margin, we know that those patients, unfortunately, have an increased risk of the cancer coming back. Now, all patients, unfortunately, have some risk of it coming back, which is why when a patient, after we do surgery, you know, however much we'd love to give them a high five and say, all right, call me when you're 90 years old. We can't do that because there's always the risk that the cancer has already gotten outside, even though everything looks great on the pathology. But if we see other adverse pathology aspects of this, of this pathology report, meaning that if that cancer's got up against that margin, that increases the risk. Well, you know, what we've done in the past is we fo either follow those very closely or, you know, and again, it's, it's really, uh, it's, it's a judgment call. There are some urologists that will say, hey, you know what, we're seeing a positive margin. We're going to send you off to radiation immediately and make sure that this cancer doesn't come back. The problem with doing that is that, unfortunately, you're over-treating a, a significant number of those patients. Well, there's different ways of handling this. We can actually, number one, is look at the size of the margin. And as you can imagine, the increase of the length, again, think about that golf ball, right? And I've got, you know, a little worm that's kind of coming out of the side or, you know, coming right up against the edge there. The more cancer that's right up against that edge when we took that golf ball out, and that cancer is right up against the edge of the, of the potentially the nerve, but anywhere else on there, the, high, the more volume there is, the higher risk that we're seeing that, that risk of, of that cancer can come back. That being said, this paper actually looked at the PSA alone. I have been a huge advocate, as many of my patients know, of what we call the ultra-sensitive PSA. Well, it's not a PSA that just gets very, you know, it's it, that's that's you know goes to the minutest amount, but it does go to the, the what we call the second decimal point. The ultra sensitive PSA goes to 0 0.00. A normal PSA will go to 0 0.1. Okay, let's go into detail. So you have a patient, he's got a positive surgical margin. We know on this paper, and they actually look at it at 30 days, but you know, most of us as urology community will routinely get a PSA either at six weeks or in three months. But what we do know is that those patients who have a positive surgical margin and have a PSA that is detectable, and that's a detectable either 0.01 or even at 0.03 or anything higher than that, have an increased risk of having that cancer come back. So what is my advice to you? My advice to you is that if you have a positive surgical margin, and these things happen, unfortunately, you know, we're not all genies and we don't have all negative margins. These cancers can come right up against the edge. The first question we want to ask ourselves is if that PSA and if that ultra sensitive PSA is detectable, you want to have a discussion with your doctor about, is it time for us to consider radiation therapy? Or, you know, is it time where we consider other things? There's a genetic risk, et cetera. This paper has told us that those patients who have some detectable PSA, 0.01 or greater, those are the patients that are at increased risk of having that cancer come back. Here's what we also know. We know that the sooner we treat these patients, 
the better off we have the results wise. And ideally, it's before that PSA hits 0 0.2, not 0 0.02, but 0 0.2. So the takeaway, know your pathology report. Do you have a positive margin? If you do have a positive margin, what is your ultra-sensitive PSA? Sit down with your doctor, ask him what this means, and do you think that you may potentially need, a, you know, and again, an additional type of therapy, which is usually radiation therapy that can potentially uh, kill any potential cancer that, that may pop up in the future. Okay, guys, this is Dr. Rich Bevan Thomas signing out. In this field, a single decision can change a game. For a man with prostate cancer, a single decision can change his entire life. While I chose surgery, a less aggressive approach called active surveillance might be the best choice for you. Ask your doctor about a genomic test that may help you make the right decision. Learn more at yourprostateyourdecision.com.